I just got my results for the AKT and I'm so, so pleased. I managed to get 84% on the exam. That was with about a month and a half of revision. And I know the average is usually between about three to six months. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I use to be able to get the marks that I did um, and how you can emulate that so you can get as much success as possible. And I'm also gonna share some resources uh, that aren't readily available online. Some of the ones that I created myself, including a fact sheet and an Anki deck. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Saramed and I am a GP trainee who's in the second year and I make videos about health and about medicine and all the stuff in between. So if that's something you're into, I will answer all your questions and suggestions. Just hit the subscribe button and let's get right into it. So. I can split this up into three stages that are really important for this exam. The first stage is being able to identify gaps in the knowledge, and that is key, okay? So there are a few different resources you can use for this. So, so the MRCGP release a document after every sitting, and they basically say how students did, what their weak areas were, bits that you need to focus on. That's really good, but they only give very generic details on what to do. So um, I'll share a link to that, but I also have created a fact sheet whereby I've spoken to a few of my colleagues and I kind of asked them what facts uh, they feel would really be quite useful to know, bit things that they were deficient of knowledge and I've acquired them all into a document which I will also share the link to in the description. Um, once you have used it, if you notice that there are any areas that you think would also be useful to add in there, please do get in contact by commenting below or sending me an email as it is provided for free this community collaboration. So I would really appreciate if you benefited from it that you can benefit those in the future as well. Um, now, the second thing that's really important for you to do is to learn how to memorize the facts in an effective way. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna preach to the converted. You know how to learn. Yeah, you didn't get to this stage without knowing how to learn. But there are some tools that may be able to help you. So things like Anki are very useful. Uh, because it allows spaced repetition of knowledge, which increases the percentage of facts retained and also improves your ability to recall, uh, which is critical at that time. So if you're not using this kind of method, I would strongly recommend that you incorporate it um, or any other kind of flashcard related method into your schedule. Now the Third thing that you need to learn is exam technique. And that is why I don't advocate spending hours and hours if you want an efficient study schedule trawling through guidelines. Um, I think it's much more efficient to actually use question banks. So the part you've been waiting for is which question bank should you use? Well, I, I use past medicine and actually I thought it was fantastic. Some of the questions were very, very, very similar to what you got on the actual exam. Um, and brace yourself, there's about 4,000 questions. So there's a hell of a lot of content there to learn, but it is worth taking the time to go through. So when you figuring out how much time you have until your test, obviously get your study schedule in order so that you can go through all of that content. Now what I did is I did the question on past medicine and then I would basically get the information that was on the bottom and I would create an Anki flashcard from it. And what that meant was that in the time coming up to the exam, I overcame one of the biggest problem from revising from question bags and that is the fact that when you forget something, it's not really very easy to find the information again. But if you've got everything in the Anki flashcard deck, you can literally just search through and all the information is there. So that's why I'm gonna share my deck with you so you can have 
about the 2,500 questions that I went through all there inside the Anki flashcard deck. Now, what I've also got in there is if you search remember in that deck, it's got all of the different acronyms, the different memory methods that you can use to remember the complicated stuff like enzyme induction, inhibition, um, drugs that you can't use in pregnancy, and all kinds of other things like phenytoin side effects, which you know nobody really remembers for anything except for these kinds of exams. So that is really, really helpful. I'll tell you what, where I, I got a lot of these from the comment section, which had been massively upvoted from past medicine, and those are um, really, really useful. So community approved, and they're all in this deck. So I highly recommend you use it. Um, and the last thing, once you've got all of those three things down, is make sure to do test papers on the RCGP self-test website. They are the people who write the exam. Um, get used to spending three hours sitting down and concentrating and doing 200 questions. It's not easy. Um, you need stamina to do it. That's what you're going to have to do in the day. So you need to have done it multiple times. I did three mock exams before I actually went and sat the real exam. I was getting around 76, 77% on those before the exam and then I ended up doing better but some people do do worse it depends on you know how your exam technique is um, there was a lot a lot of two-stage logic questions um, and there were a lot of admin questions so what I would also do is exhaust the leadership and management sections and the admin sections on the RCGP self-test um, once you've done you, your mock exams there, it will identify weak areas. Um, so I would say do this in maybe the last two weeks and, th and then you can just exhaust that specific area. You know, do questions by category on the RCGP self-test website and then you'll be good to go. All right, I hope this has been useful. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you in the next video. Check out my um, antibiotics for common cold video. It'll be linked here. Take care, good luck.